The fourth and last category of the access control clause is called System and Application Access Control. This category provides a more technical approach towards access control. The first control is called Information Access Restrictions, and it deals specifically with access to systems and applications. This control should comply with the business requirements and the access control policy. The restrictions should include segregation of functions of an application, into menus for example, and then providing more detailed access as needed. Consider an ERP system that has hundreds of functions and menus, it is extremely rare that a single user would have access to a large portion of those functions. Along with functions and features, access to data should be controlled as well, in compliance with the information classification scheme. User access rights in relation to data such as, what a user can do with the data, like changing it, should be controlled. Some users could require only reporting functions of an application. In such cases, the output of the reports should be limited to the information that they need and that they are authorized to have. 